Yes people, it is match day and the mighty tractor boys, we're at home today as we take on Sheffield Wednesday. Before we get into anything, we gotta do the shout outs. Massive shout out to Angel Care Homes for all your care needs in the Black Country and Birmingham area. Massive shout out to Mark Darcy for all your formal menswear needs. I already told you, quadruple winners, you need to check them out. And of course, the Desi Ballers highlighting all South Asians at all levels in the beautiful game. I'll put their details in the description, make sure you check them out, but let's get into it. I'm looking forward to this one, we've had lots of banter with the Sheffield Wednesday fans over the past few seasons, we all remember when they tweeted that picture out of the Oxford Fog, and we know how that turned out, and when we play them at Portman Road, although both games have ended in a draw, we seem to come off the better team. Two seasons ago it was the pantomime Mr Macaulay Bond, he's behind you, and of course, Connor Chaplin scored his first Ipswich goal. Do you know who assisted him though? Put it in the comments. And then last season, that game was a turning point for both of us. If they go in at halftime 3-0, it's a different game. If we look at Wednesday's last five results, they've got three wins sandwiched between two losses. But obviously those two losses were against Leeds and Leicester. I watched the Leeds game and to be honest, they started off really well. And it was just that timing of the Leeds goal. But if they do get that first goal, they certainly look like a team that's hard to break down. So I'm not sure how we'll cope with that. So I think it's a game that we really got to get the first goal in. I know we like to have the second half where we really step up the next gear. But we really got to be doing that from the off today in my opinion. So let's get into some team predictions then. I think for me, it's a given. Haladki, yes, in goal. Left back, choose Leaf. He's our number one left back and to be honest, the only recognised one. Um, centre back pairing I think you've got to have Burgess and Wolfie and then right back I know Clark may have been an error for some of the, uh, for the goal last week but I think it's a game that's going to suit him and we need to attack so I'm going to put Clarkie in midfield I'd like to see Travis come in I think Mass has been off it lately so we give him a rest and of course Sammy comes in as well up top I think before his injury he found a bit of form he come off the bench last week so for me it makes sense to put Broadhead in um, right wing, Wes Burns off it a little bit last week, but phenomenal in the week at Portman Road before that. So definitely bring him in. Number 10, it's our number 10, Mr. Connor Chaplin. And of course, up front, none other than Big Keith Moore. I'm feeling confident, and I think as long as we get that first goal, I think we'll get the win. So I'm going for a 3-0 town win. It's getting close to kickoff, so I'll catch you in there.
What are we saying? Yes! Oh, poor Sammy. 
saying about that one then peeps just got home and thought i'd do this quick little match review so let's get into it that was the complete opposite from last week last week i said it wasn't necessarily the loss it was the manner of the defeat whereas today it's not necessarily that we've won but it's that performance man that's got to be the best performance we've seen from Makira McKenna's team. Certainly the best one this season. If you weren't at Portman Road today, <laughs> you missed out. So in terms of the game itself, they had their chances. Credit where it's due, you know. They got forward, they started off bright, but they didn't really test us. You know, we were just looking for the right opportunities. And then the opportunity come through the star boy, Mr. Amari Hutchinson. I'll get into some player ratings later, but yo, he was phenomenal today. I think Burns sets him up. I think he plays it across. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a miscontrol or it's just gone behind him. But then Amari's kind of running away from goal with his back to goal and he just spins and fires it into the bottom corner. It's a very good finish. Like, do not underestimate how good that finish is. And then the second goal, I'll be honest, the second goal, I was too busy looking at the bench, so I didn't really get the goal on camera. I just got the... The ball going into the back of the net, I think. But again, like they say, 2 0 is a very dangerous score in football. So, you know, we had to keep going. And sure enough, just before half time, Nathan Broadhead, I said earlier, I was hoping to see him back to his best. And today he was. And he capped it with a goal. And it was a very good finish. Great ball in from Caden Jackson. First time finish from Broadhead. We know he's got it in his locker. And we're going into half time. It's 3 0. And dare we say it, it's job done. So then second half kicks off and we started as we finished the first half. We, we're on the attack. We want more goals. And on the 47th minute, we've got the applause for the town fan that passed away. And that ends up with Amari Hutchinson firing it into the bottom corner to make it 4-0. And I've got your celebration on camera this time. And then Ali al Hamidi comes on. And he gets two good goals. Yes, you can say they're tappings, but you got to be there. You know, the first one, again, Amari, he was just involved in everything today. He's run forward. He's kind of played it off to Sarmiento. Sarmiento's had a very good shot. Keeper's parried it. Could he have done better, the keeper? I don't know. But he's parried it. And uh, Alhamidi's alive in the box. And that's it. Bang. Fires it into an empty net. And I'm there in the crowd saying, we want six, you know, kind of half jokingly. But you've kind of got uh, one eye on the goal difference as well. And um, sure enough, Mr. Starboy Amari heard me in the crowd. He drove forward. And what I loved is he had the opportunity to get himself a hat-trick. But he, he run the calculation through his head. And he was like, it's better to square it off to Ali, who's going to have an open goal. And that's what he does. But yeah, man, absolutely buzzing. What a game. What a result. And we're back to second. So let's get into some player ratings then. In fact, you know what? Every player on that pitch was on job today. They did their job and more. So we're just going to have to run through all of them. So let's start with Hladki. There's been some questions about him. But for me, he's the number one. He's a safe pair of hands. He caught everything and he made a big, big save when we was 1-0 up. If they score that and make it 1-1, it's a very different game. Davis, still chasing that record. Unlucky not to get it today, but I'm sure it will come anyway. But Davis rarely gives you a bad game. You know, he's always a consistent 8 out of 10. Um, and unlucky not to score. I think uh, Broadhead plays him through in the first half. He has a very good strike. I think let's go in top corner and it's a good save from their keeper. Burgess deserved his goal, did really well on the defensive side. We know what he offers, you know, we just look a bit more assured at the back when he's in there. Um, made an excellent tackle in the second half where their man is about to fire and Burgess just comes flying in across and just blocks the shot. And then obviously he gets he had the goal in the first half as well. But yeah, very good performance from him. Wolfie, I thought he was good. Again, him and Burgess, that partnership just looks solid. You know, he's very good on the ball. He's had his critics, and I still don't know why, because I, I don't see any faults in his games. And I really love the fact that when Sammy went off, he gave Wolfie the armband. You know, Wolfie, after all, academy graduate, is one of our own. you got to love to see that. Tuan Zabi, I think we're kind of seeing that maybe Tuan Zabi is the number one choice for McKenna. 
but very good performance from him. Defensively, we know he's solid and he's getting forward a lot more. Is it Tuan Zabi or Tuan Zabi? We need to find that out. Massimo, I thought he was back to his best today. He was here, he was there, he was every fucking where. There was this brilliant bit of play in the first half where he kind of just bullied their man off the ball, then ran it down the touchline, then got to the byline, he pulled it back, and I think there the defender just kind of poked it away from Jackson. But yeah, man, very good performance from Massimo. And then his midfield partner, he's Egyptian. Portman Road, that's his kingdom. You know us fans? We think he's fucking brilliant. His name, it's Sam Morsey. Yo, Sam Morsey, captain's performance today. Up there for man of the match for me, to be honest. And, you know, sets the tone, sets the standard. Always gives you 8, 9 out of 10 each week. And this was almost a perfect performance. I think all that was missing was a goal from him. But, yeah, man, top, top performance from Sammy. And right when we need a captain's performance, right when we need leadership at this time of the season, he's there to be found. He stood up and says, I am here. I am here to lead this team. And that's what it is, man. Burns, he started off so bright. He gets an assist. You know, looked really explosive. Looked like he was he was there to play today. Looked like he was going to be back at his best. But he got injured and obviously got off the pitch before we could really see him start cooking. You know, hopefully it's not a bad injury, but, you know, he looked in a lot of agony as he was going off the pitch. So, you know, we hope he's got a speedy recovery. Brody, I said before, we need to see Brody back to his best. He was finding out before his injury and that's what it was today. Very good performance from Nathan Broadhead. You know, the, the Nathan Broadhead we know, the one that's very aggressive on the ball, wants to run at teams, wants to get at them really puts him on the back foot. That was Nathan Broder today, man. He was back to his very best. Kiefer Moore, I thought Kiefer was a bit unlucky not to score, had some good chances, really hassles the defenders, you know, really puts in a good shift. Absolute brilliant player. Yes, he didn't get a goal, but his game is more than just goals. Jackson, who would have thought Caden Jackson was going to come on for Burns? But Caden Jackson likes playing against Sheffield Wednesday. I thought he played very well. I know I'm a Jackson fan anyway, and if I put my Jackson tinted glasses down, even the the kind of Jackson critics around me were quite impressed with him today. Had some neat touches, obviously sets up Broadhead's goal with a great assist there as well. But just, you know, he wanted the ball, and the link up with Amari and Twanzebi was really good as well. So, yeah, man, very good shift from Caden Jackson today. Sarmiento, I thought Jeremy Sarmiento, again, a player that, when he comes off the bench, looks a different class. And his link-up with Hutchinson just looks brilliant. Unlucky not to score a very good shot, which obviously Ali Alhamdi scores after. But yeah, man, he looked very bright. Good performance from him. Ali Alhamdi, man, does he leave everything out on that pitch. Like, what a player he is. I said it before, that one point something million just looks like absolute change now. Like, what a signing that is, man. Seriously. Like, he's only 21. That's four goals in, what, nine games now? And the joke is, if you, if you look at that, he's actually averaging a goal every 32 minutes. Every half an hour, he's getting a goal, man. Like, it's crazy. The numbers are crazy, man. And he's only 21, and he's our player. We signed him. We're going to see the best of him, man. So, yeah, man, very good performance. Obviously, as we know, Ali, like Sami, is a devout Muslim. And today was the first game during the holy month of Ramadan. And he tops it up with two goals, man. It's, it's Gismet. Yeah, it's probably the best kind of feeling that you could possibly ask for. So, yeah, man, beautiful to see. Love that he got his goals. And even before he scored, he looked so lively that you knew that your know, goal was going to come from him at some point. So, yeah, man, very good performance from Ali Al-Hamadi. Travis and Taylor, yes, they didn't really get a lot of time on the ball. I think probably, what did I have, about five, five to eight minutes or so or whatever. But yeah, man, they did their job. They made sure that that midfield stayed secure and that nothing got breached and, you know, helped us get that clean sheet. And then man of the match is one man and one man only, Mr. Amari Elijah Jarrell Hutchinson, a.k.a. Starboy. I keep saying it every week that the boy keeps getting better and better. And he really is. Like, he's an absolute joy to watch. At times, it was the Amari Hutchinson show. Like, he is going to go to the very top. 
They say don't fall in love with long players, but too late. Too late, man. When we go up, signing Amari has to be priority. Give Chelsea 10 million plus the add-ons and let's take him because let's keep him for what we can because let's be under no illusion. I'm telling you now and you can clip this whatever, Amari Hutchinson will win the Champions League during his career. I'll even go as far as saying, and this may be a bit of a, you know, a far shout or whatever you want to call it, but I'll even go as far as saying that during his career, Amari Hutchinson will make the overall shortlist for Ballon d'Or. That's how confident I am. Remember, this is his first season and he's cooking here. I watched an interview with him. If you if you've seen it, it's with Justin Allen. He did an interview. It's about 15, 20 minutes long. If you go on my Twitter, I've retweeted it, so it's on there. But he talked about, you know, what's the things that he's improved the most. And he said, obviously, the finishing, which, you know, today's first goal, we just proof of that. Like, instinctive, one touch, on the turn, bang. That's a top, top striker's finish. And then he said the other part was the defensive side. On the rare times he loses the ball, he wins it back well. And he shields the ball well. He, he just carries the ball well. He's just an absolute joy to watch, man. I could just do 20 minutes just talking about Amari Hutchinson, to be honest with you. But, you know, he was the he was the cherry on the cake today, you know. Everyone performed well. Everyone was brilliant today. But Starboy just shone bright, man. So, yeah, man, my man of the match. But, yeah, man, buzzing with that. Brilliant performance from the lads. Like I said, probably the best we've seen under McKenna. We're back to second. Hopefully Mill will do us a favour tomorrow so we stay second. But we're going to go into that international break now, feeling confident. We've got eight cup finals to go. And as long as we're performing that, Morsi and McKenna's men, we're going up again. But yeah, I'll catch you at Blackburn. Although I may be at Portman Road next week for the women's game. Let me know if you're coming to that. And let me know if you reckon it's worth doing a vlog for that and all the rest of it. So yeah, man, I'll catch you at the next one.